This is Wild Chronicles. In Florida, a terrible mystery. More than two dozen whales have stranded in shallow water. They're pilot whales, among the most social of their kind, and the most notorious for this baffling and apparently suicidal behavior. Racing against time, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is on the scene, directing scores of volunteers. NOAA marine biologist Laura Ingleby is in charge, looking for clues. One real popular theory is that there might be a lead animal or one of the members of the group that's sick and ends up closer to shore. Since pilot whales are very cohesive, very gregarious, they're very tight-knit groups, they end up following that one individual animal. They get in shallow water, they become disoriented. The tide goes out and they're left stranded on the flats like we saw when we got here. The whales are so weak, the volunteers have to hold them up to keep them from drowning. They're suffering from severe dehydration and sunburn. For some, it is too late. The seven remaining whales will require special care day and night from a small army of volunteers. The Marine Mammal Conservancy's Rick Trout has worked to save stranded animals for more than 20 years. We've got an orphan here whose mother obviously is not here. The challenge is keeping everybody alive so that we can see that new pod go back to the ocean where they belong. The big day has arrived. The pilot whales are now well enough to be released. It is one of the most ambitious attempts to rehabilitate and release stranded whales ever undertaken. But of all the whales, the youngster will face the greatest risk when it's returned to the ocean, especially if it gets separated from the group. A lone pilot whale doesn't have a very good chance at survival. We're going to be monitoring him very closely using a satellite tag. And if we see that he's having any problems out there, we're going to be there to recover him if necessary. With volunteers, scientists, veterinarians, and the press, the flotilla numbers more than a dozen vessels bound for the release point, some 14 miles out to sea. The plan is to release all the whales at one time. Everything depends on this whale, the likely pod leader. She's the glue that holds the group together. So everything is out of the way and we're ready to go. Slow down a little bit more. When the boats reach their destination, quiet sense of jubilation descends on the volunteers. In the long history of strandings, a unique moment is at hand, the simultaneous release of five pilot whales. For the first time in 114 days, the pilot whales feel the warm waters of the Gulf Stream. They are home. We're happy. We're relieved. We'll do it again. So happy. So happy. It just, it's, it's incredible and, and just can't wait to hear how they're doing out there. The lessons learned during the long struggle to keep the whales alive may save many more in future strandings biologists will be able to monitor this group for a long time.